Yo, let me start this off with a little pickup line that's going to help you guys get laid. Hey, yo, what's up, baby girl? Let me ask you a question. <laughs> what? Can you do me a favor and smile if you want to sleep with me? <laughs> oh, my God. See, bitch, you smiled. Okay, guys, switching gears. I got a workout video. I hadn't gotten one up in a while, and a lot of you guys were mentioning it. I didn't get it up because I didn't want to just pull out my new BBC camera and stand out as much as fake ass implants. Shreds Army. Shredding your money since the conception of Instagram. Anyway, I wanted to take you guys through my workout. Everything you see me doing, I did about three to four sets of 10, and everything leg, shoulder, and chest related. So this, for example, I went considerably lighter on this day than every other day because of little pain I've been feeling in those areas, and I'm just trying to avoid injuries. This is my first exercise, and it's a quad-focused leg exercise. I would normally do a hack squat, but this gym actually doesn't have one. You'll see that's why my feet are narrower, so that way I hit my quads a little bit better. After this, I transition into a hamstring exercise, hamstring and glute exercise, as you see here, which is a Romanian deadlift with dumbbells. This has been my go-to hamstring and glute exercise over the years. I'm only using 90s. I typically use around 120s or 125s for these for sets of 10 to 15, but again, I was going a little bit light here just to make sure everything was firing right and make sure that I was avoiding injuries. I still just wanted to get a little bit of blood flow in the legs this day. I'm still kind of getting used to my camera, guys, so if the focus is off a little bit or if the lighting is off, uh, I apologize. I'll get it right, but it is definitely better than the camera I used to have. Look at that arrow. Look at them camera. Look at that arrow. Look at them camera. Anyway, that's besides the point. Keep your spine neutral on these guys. I couldn't back up anymore with where the camera was, but uh, stay tight in the midsection. And just like a regular conventional deadlift, you want to keep that spine neutral. Make sure you really thrust your hips at the top of the movement and squeeze your butt to get the most bang for your buck. If you're having trouble doing this or getting a mental cue, just pretend you're smashing your girlfriend. Okay, so moving on to this shoulder exercise. I don't normally use the Smith machine. I normally do dumbbell shoulder presses. This was actually my first day doing this. Uh, the reason I was doing this is because I was working out with my buddy Armando. Shout out to Armando. Um, and he recommended this for shoulders. And I said, hey, I'm not going to go heavy today, so might as well just do whatever it is that you do. So we just had a little fun. We did a drop set. Just put uh, four or five tens on each side. I can't remember. And, and started there. And then just hit sets of ten until we just drop set it all the way down. And then we repeated for a few sets. I find that when something's hurting me a little bit, so for example, my shoulders and chest, like I said, and my legs, putting blood into those muscles and doing some active recovery usually tends to help me a little bit more than just sitting on my ass and not using them at all. Um, again, that's case dependent. So you have to figure out what's going to work best for you. But if something's bothering you, sometimes it's not best just to take time off. You kind of have to gauge whether or not it's a serious injury. And if it's not, then go ahead and use it, you know, and see what you can get away with. And it might actually help your mobility, it might actually help you to be ready to jump back into the weights. Now, normally, guys, when I do everything for sets of 10, like I said, three sets of 10, what I mean by that is by the 10th rep, I'm really, really struggling. In some sets, I can only get maybe eight or nine reps, even though I'm trying to get 10. That's what I mean by three sets of 10. This day, like I said, a lot of things were a little bit lighter than usual, so I went a little bit higher rep. And that's just because I didn't want to further any injuries. But when I say three sets of 10, that's what I'm referring to. I'm doing a full body and I'm doing it four days a week. So I'm actually getting four times a week frequency per muscle group. I'm a huge advocate of at least three times a week per muscle group training. Um, I think the frequency is very important. If you do like a chest Monday, back Tuesday, whatever, you end up getting only one and maybe two times a week frequency per muscle group, and that's simply not enough, especially for a natural lifter. So what I recommend is at least three times a week per muscle group, no matter what routine you set yourself on. So keep that in mind. Whenever you're doing pulls, make sure that you feel it in the muscles you should feel it in. If not, drop the weight. Also, don't ever hold your back muscles back for the simple reason that your forearms can't handle the grip. Always help yourself so that your back gets the most it can out of your workout. Shifting over to pecs for the sex, baby, pecs for the sex. When you do chest, make sure that you keep the straps on that you were using for pulls on your wrist because they serve absolutely no purpose and they make you look like a tool. And also, please make sure that your nipples are on fleek. Check the shorts, SJSU, San Jose State University Spartans. For those of you guys who are not aware, I went there from 2007 to 2011, at which point I graduated with my bachelor's and realized that college was too easy for me. 
And then I started slanging that gushy gushy, and I started slaying that coochie coochie. Very respectable career, in my humble opinion. Seriously. Now, back to my bulging latissimus dorsi. I like doing these narrow grip pull downs because I get a little bit more bicep activation out of it and I've been really focusing on arm growth, but I also really, really get a good back contraction, believe it or not. Um, I like to focus on allowing myself to have a little bit of a hinge at the waist because it allows me to pull a lot more weight as I'm coming down. But as you can see, it's still controlled. And I always keep my lats fully activated by never letting the arms fully extend and always keeping my scapula retracted. A good mental cue I've been telling myself is when the bar is about one inch away from reaching its bottom most point, I actually focus on bringing my chest up to the bar and it helps me get an extra good contraction in my lats. This next exercise that you're seeing right here is an exercise that I like to call the bike pump. Uh, it looks like you're using a bike pump and it's a tricep exercise, but there's a reason I do it. The main reasons I use it is because you get to use a lot more weight than you normally would with a tricep push down and you get to save a lot of the pressure that you normally get on your elbow joint from doing tricep push downs. Now you may be thinking, hey yo what the fuck Chris, how I'm going to save my elbows if that shit's hella heavier than tricep push downs? Well let me tell you sir, this is what you're going to do. You're going to do it this way because you get support from your delts and your pecs. So you almost need to look at this as a standing decline bench press in a sense. Standing narrow grip decline bench press. It's hard to balance because it is a lot of weight that you're going to be using, but I find it to be a really useful tricep exercise and I've been loving it lately. Great tricep contraction. So if you have elbow pain or you're trying to get a new tricep exercise that's going to allow you to use more weight than you're used to, I would recommend trying this for new growth. Just a disclaimer guys, I'm actually looking 10 times sicker than this right now. This day I just happened to not eat anything until this workout, which was actually 4 p.m. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. But anyway, that's just making my ego feel a little bit better here. <laughs> Ended up with some curls for the girls. Like I said, I usually hit some more different variations of arm exercises. This is something I've been focusing on is putting more effort into my arms. But that being said, that's about it. After this, I just do some abs and some calves, but I didn't really record that in the video. Bulk's going strong, holding steady at about 195 pounds. I am five foot nine. I'm happy with where the progress is going. Let me know if you want to see some more videos like this. Also, guys, make sure to show Gymshark some support, man. These new seamless shirts are literally incredible. They feel like wearing a baby's butt on your body, and they look sick. Um, and I want to get you guys a great deal on protein right now. It's literally incredible. It's actually more than what my own coupon code can get you. You guys can buy 5.5 pounds of protein for $35 using code YESWAY. All you got to do is click that link in my description and use code YESWAY instead of my own code. But I'm just trying to save you guys some money. All right. Thanks, guys. Peace.